Zags don't have a dude. And they don't. That, I think, is maybe the one thing that is actually truly missing from this squad. You have a lot of very good players on this team. A lot of guys who are going to contribute to winning teams. But what you don't have is the one guy on their team that just strikes fear into their opponents. And that was a number of guys over the years. You could say that was Drew Timmy. You could say that was uh, Jalen Suggs. You could say that that was Nigel Williams Goss. Like you can like there are so many guys throughout the years where you could say, like, oh, that's the guy I was scared of on that team. I don't know if that guy is on this squad right now. From time to time it has been Nemar, but not consistently. From time to time, it looks like maybe it was going to be Graham E.K., but not consistently. Anton Watson is not that guy. We know that Nolan Hickman is not that guy. And really, that's that's as far as you can go with this roster because everybody else is either in a role in a role playing mode or just there's just not the depth there. As we even saw it against San Diego State, where really that they only went about seven deep, and the and the eighth guy like uh, uh, Yo did get into the game against San Diego State, but he played all of seven minutes. And that was really because Dusty Stromer had picked up that technical and they were starting to mix and match a little bit more. Uh, Dusty, Sh- and that's that, and the Dusty Stromer technical, I know it was a little bit of a soft one, but it also is, you can't do that. Like that's, that is a freshman mistake. Mark View laid into him. He didn't play the rest of the game, which may have been a little much, but that was, that's a clear freshman mistake. You, even if it shouldn't have been called, it happened, and he should know better than to not do that. Uh, but this Gonzaga team, I, they have been in an, they're, it's not an offensive rut, but they are inconsistent with what they are. And maybe the, the mindset of how they go about their offense needs to change a little bit more because if the shots are not falling from three, you may need to readjust. Because if it continues, if that persists, as we saw with St. Mary's even last year when they had an inability to shoot the three, all then you have to do is start to pack the paint and make it harder and harder to score inside and just force teams and and force Gonzaga to shoot three after three after three, knowing that it's not going to make a difference for the Zags. (laughs) 